this Noel sign. Throw pillows. I have Adeline in blue. I'm gonna try and put these up. daily reminder to brush your tongue. <laughs> I know not all of you are doing it. So today I want to decorate my house for Christmas. I'm so excited because I put up the tree. That's really all that I did. I have a lot more Christmas decorations that I want to just put everywhere and make my house like a Christmas wonderland. But first of all, we need to do some self-care. I have this Fenty face mask that I've literally never used. I just washed my face. Look at this. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so squishy. It reminds me of like the Maybelline like bouncy blush. Do you remember that? Ah! <laughs> I love doing face masks. <laughs> so it says that I should leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes or until it turns gray. The white color turns gray. Oh wow, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Should I put on the neck a little bit? Maybe a little bit. Whatever's left over. But today is probably gonna be hair wash day, so I kind of wanted to put oils in my hair. I've never really, I don't know if I've shown this on camera before, but ever since I started putting oils in my hair, I swear, you guys saw how dead my hair was. My hair is so dead from just like bleaching in and extensions and blah, 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 blah. So I did my research and I think I found the best hair oil combination. And they're all on Amazon. So I mix castor oil, sea buckthorn oil, and rosemary oil all in a little container. I mean, the perfect mixture in my hair and I swear this sh works. I'll show you how I do it. So I, this is literally, don't judge me, it's a mason jar lid, okay? <laughs> So what I'll do is I'll put like, I'd say at least 50% castor oil in here. Honestly, let's say 60, 60% castor oil. I'll put 20%, I kind of eyeball it, sea buckthorn oil, and then like 20% rosemary oil. And all these oils are so good for your hair. But let me take it out of this bun. Okay, so this is what I do, and it's so much easier than you think it is. I'll put my thing down so it doesn't get there. So I'll mix. See how you can kind of see? I'll mix the oils all together like this. What does that look like to you? <laughs> and then I'll get on my fingers and literally just brush it in my hair, mostly focusing it on the roots and don't forget the back. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is washing it out. Like I feel like I have to do a double shampoo when I wash it out because I never get it all out. And if I don't get it all out, then my hair looks greasy. But I just cover my entire head this. Well, at least the roots I try to cover all the roots and people will say oh there's no scientific proof that putting oils in your hair promotes hair growth i don't give a f it fucking works I don't, I don't care if science doesn't prove it it works for me i don't care <laughs> so i almost got all of it and i don't know if you guys remember oh no my bald spot is back i'm so sad but if you do have what is it called alopecia i have like the type of alopecia that is only in a spot but i've never had it be red like that before I think it's my extensions. Oh, I have to stop wearing extensions because that's like where my extensions go. I don't know if that's the reason or what, but definitely get the oil on that. Oh, I probably have to go back to the doctor. And then once I've used up all the oil, I'll get a little extra castor oil. <laughs> Wait, was it castor oil? I don't know if the girl did the other oils, but I like castor oil on everything. So I'll put a little bit on the ends because my ends are a little bit dry. And if you really want, you could put it on your eyelashes and your eyebrows and that really works. I used to put Vaseline on my eyebrows and eyelashes and I swear that would work too. But yeah, now that you look like a big greasy mess, you can pretend that it was on purpose and put it in like a little sleek bun. Like I literally go to the grocery store. Like, <laughs> like this is my hair oil um, and you can leave it in for like a couple hours you could leave it in overnight but i just do it a couple hours before i shower but yeah it looks cuter when you put a little clip but i just did a little bun right now but mm. <laughs> but yeah that is how i do my little hair oil for hair growth for my hair loss my alopecia and i went to the doctor i don't know if any of you guys have it but i went to the doctor and i was like what is even the cause of alopecia and they were like oh there's nobody knows the reason it could be from stress it could be from anything i'm like i don't think i'm that stressed me posting like a crying vlog like a couple days ago but this is my night slash morning routine kind of i'm not doing anything today so that's why i did all this my room is messy but the outfit vibes right now are immaculate <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this bathrobe is from PV Team, but it kind of looks like Skims. I got this cup on Etsy. Look at this. It says my name on it. It says Adeline. Oh. 
and the Louis Vuitton pink slippers. But let's see what we're working with. So I have all of those bins right here filled with Christmas stuff. <laughs> I'm Luke. So far, all that I've decorated is I put up the tree and yesterday I just kind of put this together very quickly. Look how cute. I have this little pug. It's not a Frenchie, but it looks like blue a little bit. And inside, ignore the dishes. We have candy canes if anyone wants them. This candle I just got at Home Sense yesterday. These little guys, I'm pretty sure I got them at the dollar store. And these flowers that I got from Instacart. Look how cute they have the little deer. And there's like a little wood slab in here. It's so cute. I've never seen like a winter flower arrangement like this. It's so cute. Okay, now I kind of want to decorate this area because it's very summery. So I'm going to take all these flowers down. And I think I have like a runner and some cute little Christmas decor that I could put up. I think I got this table runner with a smaller table. So I don't know, if I were to buy a new one, I would get one that's longer and probably some, I saw at Target, they had these like snowflake little placemats, which would be cute, but this is what we got for now. I think it's cute. Okay, I'm going through all the boxes. I think it's time to do this area. So first of all, I wanna do the throw pillows. I don't know if the green should go on the couch or these little ottomans. I think these ottomans, cause then you could see them a bit better. <laughs> what are you doing, you little mountain goat? Do you think it'd be cute to layer them? That's kind of cute. Like that? Aw, that's super cute. <laughs> and this Noelle sign. I just feel like she needs her own little moment. I'm sorry, Brave Celeste. I'm sorry, beautiful woman. I'm sorry, little gold thing. I think she needs her own moment at the very top. Aw, so cute. Wait, let's add green. I have these fake branches. I think that they're fake. They very much could be real. I literally have no idea, but I'm thinking behind. So it's kind of like a, a peak of greenery. Okay. And I put some, I don't know if it's too long, if I should cut it, but put that right there. I feel like Blue is looking, are you looking at the decorations? Do you like it? Is it a big stick? It's not fair that I have a big stick and you can't, huh? Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh my God, look at what I just found. How cute would this be? I don't have like a nail to put it in though, but like how cute is this? <laughs> oh my god, I don't think I could put it up anywhere. I don't really have like a good place to put it, but how cute. Ugh. I have this little mat that I can put right here. It's kind of like an extra mat. It's just says a very merry welcome. And it's flattened it out because it was in storage. Ooh. Also, I don't know if this is Christmassy, but I added these. How cute. I need to find a Frenchie one, like a Christmassy Frenchie one. Oh, I remember what I did last year. I have these stockings that I had custom made. I obviously can't put a hole in the fireplace because it's like marble. So I got literally taped. Even though it would always fall down, I would just tape them up above the fireplace and it was super cute. I'm gonna light a candle right now. I just got this one from Home Sense Vanilla Tonica. It just smells like freshly baked cookies. Okay, so can I tell you a story time? I didn't know this. Everyone would always be like, trim your wicks, trim your wicks. And like, I don't know why in my head, I was like, shave my pubes. Is that what everyone is saying? Shave my pubes, trim your wicks. Cause like wicks to me is like trim your wicks. So I Googled it and it's, it means that you have to cut your candles before you actually burn them. So this is a brand new one. I don't know what the science is behind it, why you have to trim your wicks, but everyone says you have to trim your wicks. So this is me trimming my wicks, okay? I'm not sure what it does to make it better, but if you know how it makes it better, please let me know because I genuinely have no idea. I'm just listening to you guys at this point. Mm. It literally, it smells like freshly baked cookies. <gasps> okay, but yeah, I have these stockings, mm. but I have Adeline and Blue. I should really get my dad because my dad also lives here, but I got them like so long ago. I don't even remember the website that I got it from. Maybe we can get dad one of those elves that like ruin everything around the house. That'll be dad's thing. <laughs> No, my dad doesn't care. <laughs> okay, let's see. How high do we want to put it? I feel like it has to be like right above fireplace like this. What do you think? That's kind of cute, right? I'm really going to tape her down. She's not leaving this year. Now let's get blues. Isn't it so cute? It's a paw print and they have a little dog. Mm. I wish I could tell you what website I got from. It was like a random, it was probably like an Instagram sponsored website, like so random. It doesn't even. See, it's easy to do the first one because you don't have to, it's like doing your first eyebrow. We need to go lower. That is even enough for me. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Adeline and Blue. Fun fact, I've never used this fireplace because I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared it's going to burn the whole house down. My dad is scared about this fireplace, so we just never use it. <laughs> but Adeline and Blue. We really should get it fixed, though, because it would be really nice and cozy for the holidays. <laughs> Look at this one. Just 
sleeping, sleeping sound. <laughs> okay, now the thing that I feel like makes the biggest difference in the house are these garlands. I like to wrap these garlands all around the staircase, going all the way up. Um, and I feel like it's the biggest difference because this is the front walkway, right? When you first walk in. Oh, hey, I'm Adeline's visitor. I'm a guest. Ooh, I'm walking in for the first time. Blue, I'm just pretending I'm acting. No one's here. No one's here. Blue gets triggered when I say, hey, hello, how are you? Because she thinks, see, she's triggered. Um, but yeah, so the first thing that you see when you walk into the house is this. So it has like the garlands all going up. It just makes the whole house seem so Christmassy. Also, got these from HomeSense. Almost all of my Christmas home decor is from HomeSense, if you're ever wondering. <laughs> if you're from Canada and you need the same things. But I'm gonna try and put these up. <sighs> lights up. I just need to put batteries in it, but I always forget every year. I think it looks fine like that. Like, I'm not gonna put the batteries in. Look at what I just have. First of all, Blue's gonna kill me. This is for dogs. It's a little beard. Her face goes right here. Oh, ah, she's gonna kill me. Dog reindeer, dog reindeer antlers. This is my favorite little outfit that she has. It's her little elf outlet outfit. And I used to have all these pom-poms, but they always come off, but it's her little winter outfit. It's so cute because it gets so cold in Canada. She needs it. And look at this. <laughs> But I also just found all of the nutcrackers. So I'm gonna put the nutcrackers, I'm thinking like near the kitchen. I like them because they're very simple. I have like just white and red ones, which I think could be really cute near the stove. I'm thinking on either side. Look at this little white one, this little white one I kissed. It has a little lipstick mark. <laughs> for decoration. It is kind of a fire hazard though. I just have to make sure that, cause it's wood, can't get too hot around the, the stove. <laughs> we should move it. But I think it goes really well. Let's have these little guys. I don't know where I should put them. I'm like a little Canadian. Oh, she has a, a basic white girl. She lost her Starbucks. Aw, I just put them right there. Oh my God, and here, look at, I have these Christmas pajamas. Look at this Christmas outfit. Oh my God. I got Daisy by Marc Jacobs. This is cute. But here is the final. Christmas house tour. But this is it when you walk in the front entryway. Oh, look at this. And I feel like the, what? What? What are they called, garlic? But I feel like this makes a huge difference in the house, even in my other house, like having these things. I got this idea from my mom. My mom always did this around the staircase and it's like the first thing you see when you walk in the house and it's so cute. And then over here, oh, sorry. We're fixing the Wi-Fi, so to speak, because everything is open. But I feel like everything looks so Christmas here. I didn't have enough pillows. I might go to HomeSense and buy some more pillows. Ah! But I feel like everything looks so green and like Christmassy here. We have the little stockings of the fireplace, even though we don't really use the fireplace, but it's okay. And then if anybody ever comes over, look at, we have these little things. If you want to take photos or cute little moments, of course the candles, if you want to light a candle. Of course we have blues. Christmas toys. <laughs> hey! You on the bus. We have all of the dining rooms kind of set up. I kind of want to get a little snowflake. What do you call them? I can't even think right now. Like place snowflake placemats. I want to get snowflake placemats. I think it'll add a lot to the table. Maybe even like a, a larger runner. But this one will do. It's super cute. And then obviously the tree. I'm sorry, it's like a little messy. I was still wrapping gifts. But I think it looks so cute and everything feels so Christmassy. Oh, I can't forget this whole like flower arrangement and everything and the little nutcrackers over there. Oh, it makes me so happy. Christmas decor makes me so happy and I guess this is kind of like my Christmas house tour. It's like Christmas decorating and Christmas house tour all in one. By the way, this is my assistant Caroline. <laughs> She's a queen. <laughs> but I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Look it, I just found this. Tell them about the podcast. Oh, you guys, my podcast just came out and it's Girl Talk by Adeline and Warren. If you guys wanna stream it, it comes out every single Wednesday. I just dropped my first episode. It's 24 things that I learned at 24 and I love it so much. I'm so excited. You can stream on my main channel, anywhere that you stream podcasts. <laughs> Guys, I didn't sleep, okay? I'm sorry. I can't think of words right now. Words are hard. But yeah. Woo!
Adeline Morin officially has a podcast. Who would have thought? I'm not just talking about it anymore. It's actually happening. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Today's merch shout out of the day goes to Alexis D on Instagram. She just tagged me. That's how you become merch shout out of the day. She's wearing the gray Y2K set, which looks so cute on her. And we're twinning because I'm also wearing it too. You can shop AdelineMorin.com or just search up Girl Sporting Girls. It'll be the first thing to pop up. And then today's tip of the day goes to Kennedy Pug on Instagram. You just tag me. That's how you become tip of the day or merch shout out of the day. And her tip of the day says, you are the only person that you need to be good enough for. And I love that tip of the day because I feel like, you know, so many times, especially us as women, we're always like, am I good enough? Like, well, they think that I'm cool. Like, blah, 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 blah. But the only person that you need to be good enough for is yourself. And that's all that really matters. And maybe your dog. Be the person that your dog thinks you are. That's today's tip of the day. <laughs> but I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next daily vlog tomorrow. I'll be here. Same place, same time. Love you guys. Bye.